Hello, and welcome to the startup process for selecting your reactive PNG. We will first start by logging onto the website reactivefugi.tech. This website will connect your Discord account to the website for it to detect any voice response. If you are playing a solo game and do not wish to be disturbed by anyone, you can create a private chat for yourself and it will still work. But anyways, let's get started. You select on the select file tab to choose your GIF. Once you have this open, you can select what GIF file you would like to use. My previous PNG file was this one, but for reference sake, I will stick with the base model. Once you select your PNG, you can select your active GIF model for when you're speaking. There, all done. Once you have selected both files, you should have an idle PNG and an active PNG. Anything you want to do after is purely up to you to customize your PNG experience. After you have finished selecting your models, go ahead and copy the link to your Streamlabs. The link right here behind my PNG model is the one that you should be copying. So this information right here is my username. This link will change depending on how many people you have on your Discord. If you want to set up multiple PNGs for your other friends, the process will be the same, but you would just have to copy their link to your Streamlabs just to set up. So go ahead and hit copy and then move to Streamlabs. Hello, whoa, check this out. All right, now to add the link to Streamlabs, go ahead and click add source and go to browser source and click add. Once you have this ready, you'll have uh, usually you'll have options here to add your other sources, but since we're adding a new source, you would like to go ahead and check add new source, rename this to however you like, and then paste the URL link here. Once it is pasted, it'll register that you have inserted an active PNG and then you hit okay. And there you have it. You now have a reactive PNG. Now I have two.